Ever since Connecticut State Legislature passed tax breaks for the television and film industry, the state has seen a huge jump in productions in the state. Today, a new recording studio opened in the home of the Rockville Rocket, and many are hoping it's the launch of a new era. Brian Burnell has the story. When you're young and so in love as we Gene Pitney was known as the Rockville Rocket, a native of Rockville, Connecticut. The late rock and roller would be proud of his hometown as it becomes home to a growing media industry. The Rockville USA is open for business. Rockville USA is a sound and video recording and editing studio opened by a group of musicians and technicians turned entrepreneurs. This old mill town now hosts a high-tech studio thanks in large part to the state's Hollywood East legislation, the same tax breaks and incentives that helped bring feature films like the latest in the Raiders of the Lost Ark series to the state. In a way, Rockville, USA is better. Make no mistake, the Speaker of the House is happy that the Hollywood East legislation has drawn some big budget movies like the latest Indiana Jones to Connecticut. But he says this is what it's really about. Bricks and mortar, permanent businesses in the entertainment industry locating here in Connecticut. Because it's constant. It's not just a hit and miss. So, and you're seeing it happen. We're seeing it happen all over, and this is another prime example of it. Much of the growth in the television and film industry has concentrated in Fairfield County because of its proximity to New York. Rockville USA partner Wayne Holmes says he now fully expects Hollywood to look to Rockville for work because he knows who's there. Will they come from L.A. if you guys create the reputation? I lived in L.A. for 10 years. You know what I found in L.A.? New Englanders in the film business, okay? I found people from New York in the film business. Robert Pilver is another partner who sees growth in the future. It could be one of facility of many more to build. Depends on where it goes I and mean, if things are going well. We hope to uh, build another facility and use this for certain projects and have another facility that we'd use maybe just for bands. And lawmakers may help with that. New tax break legislation focusing on the music industry is in the works for the upcoming legislative session. In Rockville, Connecticut, Brian Burnell, NECN.